I'm not here again. I'm like, uh, and nah. But yes, I am. Because guess what? That's the system. You have to learn to what? Master the mundane. Everyone say, master the mundane. Master the mundane. One second.
to learn how to read. Because when I learned how to read, that was one thing you couldn't take from me, and I could create my own power. I want to share with you that when you learn the system here, boy, the world better watch out. Because that is one thing that they cannot take from you. It becomes your power. Whose power?
you didn't get something that the incredible Miss Faye Hustle just went over, take a picture of this slide. Because somebody left the room. Look at all the cameras going up. Thank you. <laughs> Good. So, okay, get it from your neighbor. <laughs> I'm at the end here because I need to get to the bulk of my training. But what I want to share with you is that the biggest thing that's going to make everything work is what you heard earlier, is knowing what you want and your why, right? It says some men have thousands of reasons why they cannot do what they want, but all you need is one reason. How many? One. You just need one. And if the vision is clear, the actions are easier. It was very clear. I knew what I was going to have to do. So as long as it took me to switch from boots to heels, boots to heels, y'all, <laughs> it became easier. So some of you are sitting here when she talked about what do you want and you still really didn't have a why in front of you. I want to give you one today. I want to share with you, I'll ask you a quick question. Is this what Angel went through when she got out of the service? I ended up in a situation where I was showing up to a job and I wasn't getting paid. And all I had to live on was my bank account. My question to you, if it's financial, is what's your number? So here's what I'm going to ask you to do. I want you to close your eyes and I want you to look at your bank account. All right, do you see the number? Okay. Now, what if you ended up in a situation just like me, uh, when you get back, God forbid that doesn't happen, but all you have is what you have in your bank account. How long could you live? Six months? A year? Five years? Twenty years? Two weeks? Do you like the number? No! That's why you're here this weekend, is to learn how to change that number. So for those of you who says, well, I don't really know my why, Ms. Gardner, Mr. Self, Mr. Hughes, I don't really know what to write down. That's what you write down. That's the information you get this weekend so you can change your number. If your number is amazing, then how many people have you helped get a number like yours? That's why we're here this weekend. Change that number. Now, when you act, success is yours. There is a system for everything, okay? A system for everything. And if you're not having success in some things, it's just something you don't know or someone you haven't met so that you can get the information to have the system work for you. So I'm gonna talk about filling your calendar and how to do that and maybe some things that have been missing. Now, I wanna talk really very quickly about the how-tos. And it's not just the how-tos, but it's how you do the how-tos. This is my very favorite quote. It says, my way of doing things is a direct result of the way I think about things. If you can't get excited about getting the information this weekend to change your number, who will do it for you? See, when you start to do the activity that you're gonna learn this weekend, you wanna do it in these levels of excitement, with clarity, with excitement, with urgency, with speed, and you wanna move in your yes, because every time you're doing your business, you're moving in your yes. You're moving in what? Yes. No, my yes. You're moving in what? My yes. And they would say, stay alert, stay alive. So when I say stay alert, you say stay alive. Stay alert, stay alive. Stay alert, stay alive. That means that as you listen this weekend, if you want your business to stay alive, you must stay alert to the information that you're going to hear this weekend. Does that make sense? Yes. All right, so here we go. So this is just one of many how to's, but action takers are money makers. What are action takers? Money makers. All we do is very simple. We find people to talk to, talk to the people we find, and talk to people who talk to us. Now, we make up in numbers what we lack in skill. You're going to learn a skill set this weekend, but for many folks, you want to use the numbers to make up as you're getting better in the skill set. Even if you say, I have the skill set, but I'm not where I am, you may need to recheck your numbers, right? It's time to take your numbers to the next level. Because what I'm going to show you very quickly is that it's not what stopped you, but where did you stop? Who here has ever made a goal, a call goal, saying, I'm going to make X, Y, Z amount of calls today? Anyone? Yes. Good. Throw out some numbers that you use most often. 30. 20, 10, 40. So you do that. Great numbers. Here's what I find out. Now, this system, the ACT is an acronym. A stands for appointment, C stands for the number of calls, and T stands for who you talk to. It is your call to action 
every single day. So you can turn those, those letters around all that you like. Now, what I'm sharing with you is that everything is independent and it's interdependent. That means they work alone, but they also need to work together. Got that so far? Yeah. And so what I find is that many times people make a goal for the number of calls. Is that true? Yes. And have you ever said at the end of the day, end of the week, like, man, I've been working my business every day without one person that signed up. Now one person is talking to me today. I didn't get anyone to watch the video this week. Anyone been there besides myself? So then I learned this formula that I created because I said, well, Angel, if you make all these calls, because who's ever made their 20, 30, 40, 50 calls and didn't talk to anyone? Oh, look at the hands go up. So remember I said it's where you stopped, not what stopped you. So what happened is I said, Angel, you're making all these calls, but you're not talking to anyone. And remember, we find people to talk to, talk to the people we find. So if I'm making the number of calls, but I'm not talking to anyone, no wonder I'm not signing someone up for a membership or recruiting someone to be an associate. So where is the missing key? Making a goal for the number of people you talk to. You can't get an appointment if you didn't talk to nobody. So yes, pat yourself on the back if you made your 30 or 40 or 10 number goal that you first said. But now I want you to make a talk to goal and because of time, we're going to keep going, and I want you to make an appointment goal. If you follow this formula, I guarantee you, now we're not supposed to guarantee much, but I guarantee that you will not go to sleep without having appointments on your book. If you do, you didn't follow the formula. It's impossible. Does that make sense? Yeah. Because if your goal was to call 30 and talk to 10, you can't stop calling until you talk to 10. And if your goal was to have two appointments, you can't stop calling and talking until you get to your two appointments. Does that make sense? Yes. It doesn't matter which one comes first because you have to hit the goal that was independent for each area. Got me? Yes. All right, cool. So you don't know your strength because you stop at your weakness. And so I want to show you very quickly, you're going to see how success is just buried under your frustration. When I got into comedy at 27, I had a turn back moment, man. It was the day I was going to quit. Because I had had enough, man. I was living in this car for three years, man. I ain't got no money. And um, I was going to call my mom and dad and ask them, could I come home and just stay in the attic for about four months till I find a job. My father told me, you can't come back home. Once you leave my daddy's house, you got to figure it out. So I knew it was going to be hard. But they had put an answer machine in the attic for me. And so I was bathing in a hotel in Pensacola, Florida. And the way I used to bathe was, I used to go to hotels that had those bathroom doors that went floor to ceiling. I would go to real fancy, like Rich Carlton's and stuff like that, because they had linen tiles wrapped up in a basket. And I would take a bunch of them and run hot water on them, and I'd take them in the stall and shut the door, and I'd take my bag and I'd soap up. Then I would wait till the coast was clear, and I'd run out and get a bunch of more rags and soak them up and come out and wipe it off. Then i stand there and dry, put my clothes back on. That's how I bathe every other day, man. And so I was in that one time, and they had a uh, convention in town. And when I got all the stuff, I soaked up this convention let out. And men was just coming in the bathroom, and I couldn't go out. So I couldn't get the soap off. So I let the toilet seat down and I'm sitting there, man. I just started crying. I said, man, I can't take the oh, I'm feeling quick. I'm gonna go call my daddy, just ask him to come home, man. I can't do this no more. So before I called him, I called the answer machine and I got a message. And it says, Steve Harvey, this is Chuck Sutton from Showtime and the Apollo. We saw a tape of you. If you would come to New York Sunday night, this was a Thursday. Come to Sunday, Sunday night, we're going to put you on TV, Showtime the Apollo. Put me on TV, that was my dream. But I had a problem. I had $25, and I, I couldn't get to New York. How was I going to get to New York for $25? So I said, man, I went back in my car, and I'm crying again. I said, man, God, I finally get a shot to get on TV, and then I can't even go. I said, how did you do this to me? And I'm 30 something now, and I've been waiting my whole life, and I said, Are you get me here? So I said, well, Let me call this machine back and just see if he said this Sunday. And I called it back, 
And this is Steve, this is Chuck Sutton from Showtime and Power. We saw it too. We have an opening for you Sunday. If you could get here, give me a call. Let me know. We'd love to put you on TV. So I got ready to hang up. And I heard, you have another message. And I punched in the code. And the message says, Steve Harvey, this is Tom Sober from the Comedy Caravan. I don't know where you are now, but I have a gig available for you in Jacksonville, Florida, to pay you $150 Friday night. If you can make the gig, let me know. I'm in Pussy Cove. So I called Tom Sober. He sends me to this gig to make $150. I go the next night, I make $150. And I was so funny, the club owner said, if you stay the next night, I'll pay you another $150. I got $300. I called Tom Chuck Sutton back at the Apollo and said, hey man, I just got this message. If you still got room for me in New York, I'll do it. He said, yeah, come on. So I went to Eastern Airlines, bought a round trip ticket for $99 from Jacksonville, Florida to New York. Performed on Showtime at the Apollo. Wrote the joke that made me famous. Mike Tyson hit this fight of Mitch Green in the eye and his eyes start talking. And I wrote that on the way to New York. Got a standing ovation on the Apollo. I have been on television ever since that night. Wow. So that's it, guys. I'm walking off stage, but I handed, I send you all a success tracker. Um, you should have it coming towards you now. And I would encourage you to take it home, get it laminated. And what you're going to do is be in charge of your own success from the activities that you're going to learn this weekend. And the top line, every time you do the right thing in your business, I want you to put a tick line on the top line. And the day you don't do what you said you were going to do, I want you to put a tick line on the bottom line. The more tick lines on the top line will take you to winning. The more tick lines on the bottom line will take you to what the... So you're actually in charge if you're going to be winning in your business or if you're going to always be at what's up in your business. And so I wanted to give you something visual that you can have. Days are expensive. When you spend a day, you have one less day to spend, so make sure you spend each day wisely. Folks, I'm Angel Stevens from Florida, Stay in